<laughs> Welcome back to Dak Game and back to the Leisure Suit Larry Marathon. And unfortunately, this is the end of Larry's run over at Sierra. So now, we're gonna have to go off grid. Box office bust! We're not gonna do box office bust, you anus rat! Ooh, you touchy fuck! I've actually planned it out so I don't have to do that game for another whole year. Unless the peeps voted for Xmas. Yes, and let's... Don't you fucking dare! So, Leisure Suit Larry was lost after his seventh installment. Trapped forever to float in an empty space of development hell. But the company High Voltage came along and dusted off Larry for another round. Now, I do say it was the end of his Sierra run, but this was a Sierra game. Just not an hour low game. But most people of the Larry fandom don't even consider giving this one a second of their time. But hey, a new Larry game? In 3D with a sexy cover? That shit caught my eye. 2004 couldn't come soon enough, and Legend Suit Larry Magna Cum Loud hit the shelves with some average scores. Most people expecting lower due to Al not being a part of the project, but it seems like High Voltage brought their A game. And this game has an adults only rating. So lock your doors and tell your mum you're studying, because we're going back to college and we're going to get some double D. But these are a shit score for college! I know that, you idiot! You need to chill shades. Anios! What the hell are you doing here? Don't you have some, like, gum to chew or some mods to look up or some horses to... I figured I've been on the site for a while. It's time we did a team up. What? And chew gum together? No, silly. Review a game. And I can keep you calm with my soothing voice. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. I mean, we can still chew gum together. Shades. Right, 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 sorry, sorry. This is Magnum Cum Laude. So we start the game with tits in our face. Good start, High Voltage. Let's hope it's not downhill from here. Larry is having a dream. He's the king of college. Being invited to all the parties and getting all of the panties. Wait, that's not Larry. No, that's his nephew, Larry Lovage. Well, it would be kind of weird if Larry did go back to college. I mean, what is he, like, 45 or something? What the hell would he study? <laughs> Picking up chicks. Good point. But like with all dreams of this nature, they end in a sticky way. Don't you stop. You either. What the? So, Lovage sees an ad on the campus TV for a dating show called Swingles. They plan to get the kids to play a series of games to win some high-level tang. I'm gonna do this for you, Uncle Larry. You got a hell of a reputation to live up to, kid. As you play, the original Larry is a tutorial guide, helping us to get to know the game. The game plays is a free-roaming-ish type game. You can still examine and interact with things. But your inventory is more of a glorified trophy room than anything. The bottom left shows what we can do in our actions and our confidence meter. Man, if I had one of those when I was at school, I wouldn't have embarrassed myself so much. Let's take a look around the room and... I mean... Who is this? What What is happening? Close the blinds. Dude, why is he dressed like he's going out on a date, yet he is here just watching us? It's not even ha ha Larry funny. It's just ha 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 weird. Before we leave the room, we can play some old school games on his TV. whack -a -pole. The game for the modern family getting their first classic Atari system. Fierce body checking, yeah. furious stick checking, yeah. ruthless tripping! You really think you're ready for all that? I'm ready! I'm ready! Fine. Cash your lunch. I 
So we hit the hallway and stumble upon Diet Tina Armstrong, who happens to also be a student here. Yeah, and I'm a heart surgeon. Does she look like a college student to you? She looks like she was raised in a barn! Terrible joke, Shades. <laughs> it was funny. I order you to laugh. Oh, and remember that pervert from my room? He's trapped in the elevator, and he doesn't seem phased. Oh, come on, that's just lazy. It could be his twin. Anios, please. I've seen game designers do this before. This is a simple copy and paste method. Pure laziness. Isn't that how I work? Don't say things like that! You're real! So anyway, back to Hey Bell Haley. Uh, Sally Mae. So each girl has a set of stages that must be completed. Complete the stages and you're rewarded. These come in the form of minigames. The first minigame is talking, which sounds easy enough, though talking here is a sperm swimming through beers, boobs and conversation pieces. So it's simple. Hit the good stuff and pass the stage. Hit the bad stuff, you could get drunk, fart, or look at boobs. Just another day at the office for me. This minigame is kinda easy in a way, sort of a primitive bon appetit, trying not to look at the eye candy while hitting the notes, but also comes off as a more lazy way of making a dialogue tree. It does take away from the feel, but it matches the college tone. You know, drinking, perving, and conversations that go nowhere, except the bedroom. So now that we have Sally on the ropes, it's time to reel her in. Another mini game nearby is mixing drinks. Acting like a simple rhythm game, you can nail the drink pause. Though in college, wasn't it always about over pouring anyway? This is true. Though Terry mixed me a drink once. Never again. You should make me have a drink. <laughs> I did say all the time. Now also if you notice, if you get a good score, your confidence makes things easier. That is if you're not drunk. Don't worry, we're gonna get her drunk with the game of quarters. Which I think I played with Terry as well. Quarters is a very sensitive game. It took me hours to find the right throw technique. Using the arrow keys, you pull back and forth to throw. But it doesn't show you a meter of speed, so it makes things a lot harder. But now that I think about it, I don't think there's ever been a video game that's done quarters well. My favourite is if you lose. I swear Larry fucking dies. I mean, just look at the way he hits the fucking table. Fucking slam, dude! After all the flirting, sperm swimming, coin throwing and dancing, we get our cowgirl back to Larry's pad. But in classic Larry fashion, something goes wrong. In this instance, she's Jewish. I mean, I'm not one to judge. More mashuga to ya! Let's hit the campus grounds for some more promising ladies. But first, our field of vision could use a cleansing. So when you're drunk, the screen takes a spin for the worst, making minigames harder and walking places more of a challenge. This can be taken care of with a call to the wild. Taking a piss anywhere we like, in true frat fashion. Larry then bumps into Yasmin, the host of Swingles, who gives us a series of challenges throughout the game as we progress. But in order to get on the show, we need to bang more ladies. You want to get the girl of your dreams? All you have to do is fuck your dick off to millions of ladies until there's nothing down there but dust. That'll show you your true intentions for love. Heading to one of the frat houses, we bump into Fran Dresch's long lost sister. A foul-mouthed Italian girl with a taste for challenge. Well, after draining the lizard, we can challenge her with a mini-game or two. <laughs> eh, quarters again? I mean, we just played this a few minutes ago. I guess we could play it again. I mean, aren't there any other mini-games to play? 
Now we might as well get a few ladies going at once. Let's hit the library too. We bump into Nigel, a salesman with a series of questionable wares. Nigel sells all the extras for the game you can buy with the Where's Dildo tokens, being loading screens with more sexiness, concept art, a mod for the dancing minigame to turn into a stripping minigame, and even some nudes in the models. Though, they could have at least taken them out the rigging poses. I mean, I'd love me some skin, but having them ready for the cross is kind of fucking unsettling. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hit up the bookworm. Um, Shades. That's the Dean's protege. Even better. You're starting to see a pattern though, aren't you peeps? Chat up the girl, a series of minigames and combo trees, and then conclusion. Even though it's quite shuffled in the minigames, it still feels like a lot of the same. For instance, the trampoline minigame is just the dancing minigame. This is a common theme. Some other things kind of break up the gameplay, such as a chase minigame, but again, it just feels kind of sloppy. But hey, we get to actually get with some of the girls. Yes, this game dishes out quick early in the game, and some of these scenes are so bizarre we just have to watch them. For instance, when we get the bookworm, she isn't really ready for complete sexual experiences. And, well, this happens. Hey, Gotta go! See you later! Thanks for the beer! Al would be so proud. And again, as I said, Larry gets some action quite early in the game. It's more of a 50-50 chance than most Larry games, you know, where the action doesn't happen till the end of the game. Okay Shades, we've got two of the ladies in our back pockets. Let's get some more. I figure with the Larry to girl ratio, we're about a third of the way through. Shades, you're kidding, right? No, that sounds about right. It's usually around about seven ladies. Like, you know, not too few that the game's too short, but not too many that you lose interest. Shades, there are 15 ladies. Uh, what? That's right. Not seven, not ten, but fifteen. Fifteen. Teen ladies to get with, six get cutscenes, and the rest mini games and in-game scenes of other areas of the town. And the worst part, you have to play the same mini games over and over again. It's gonna fizzle out first. My brain or my dick. Sounds like someone doesn't have the stamina. It's not that. I can understand this game is heading in a new direction. A more free roaming game, but somehow I feel the puzzle element was taken out at the last minute. Minigames are great in games to break up the pacing. Even the early Larry games with a dick humor knew that. But here's where it gets quite dull. Not completely boring, but very dull. And when you're gonna play quarters or rhythm games for the tenth time, it kind of wears on you, there really isn't much skill to these games, and it's all about slowing the experience. You could say it's to work up the play for the reward, but when it's this slow, it becomes more of a chore. You start to forget about the swingles too, because some of the girls you get with give you the reward early. With most Larry games, you get the goods at the end, but here, it's like free coupons in your mailbox. You almost don't know what to do with them all. And I guess that's why Aulo doesn't like this game, for all those reasons. However, the game dishes out sex appeal, doesn't completely ruin Larry, but gives him a new path for the younger audiences, who can appeal to parties and drinking games. The sex appeal is there, and never does it feel like it cheats you. It feels more like a sexy game with Larry starring in it than a Larry game with sex appeal as its story. I'd say it's appealing, which would piss off a lot of the original fans of the Larry series. But as a sex appeal game, there's a lot to see. And it's in 3D too. But the downfall is that it becomes a wash and rinse repeat style of gameplay with the minigames and dialogue. And most peeps who play sexy games have tuned out before getting to the fifth girl. This is a very niche type of game, and I can see why when this came out, it stepped on a lot of toes. But I hope what I said helps you decide if it was worth a look. Well, that's it for this episode of Dak Game. I'm shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh god. Oh, God, oh! Don't have to... what? Wait. If you...
If you're not down there, then... Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to keep up to date with the latest DAT goodness, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click like on this video. Also, if you guys want to see some exclusive and uncensored DAT game episodes, including extra content, you can support us on Patreon. And if you want to wear DAT game, you can head on over to our store and get some sweet shady shirts and merch. Thanks again for watching.